You know, the irony of this situation is I was concerned about taking the Speciali to Dubai because there's lots of sand out there. Look at the front of this. Honestly, I came in here with my lift up, so I'm not entirely sure how this has happened. But uh, the next time this thing goes in, in for a service, you know, the joke was when I brought the Speciali back on, the, on its last service, we uh, swapped the air filter because there was some sand in it. And the guys there were joking, oh, have you had this thing on the beach? Yes, yes I have. <laughs> To follow them and hear them and see them handling and what they're like under load, it really gives you an appreciation for what you're driving. It's a really cool experience. The first stop, deservedly, at the fuel station. We've had a really good run through some fantastic tight, twisty roads so far. First 
proper stop for the photo shoot was going to be at the beach. So we're taking Porsches to the beach. The last time I went to the beach on the coast of England was a long time ago and never when I was a kid did I believe that I would be taking a convoy with a group of some of the finest Porsches in England. So that is an absolute joy. And then one of the owners of the GT3 RS owns a restaurant in the area. So we're gonna to go to his restaurant after the photo shoot at the beach, get all the cars lined up, have some great food, and then ultimately head back as the sun is setting. It's landed up to be a pretty ideal day. So, I'm not sure if any of you guys follow the tech world at all, but a few days ago was the uh, Worldwide Developers Conference, otherwise abbreviated to WWDC, uh, which is an event that was uh, pr predominantly kickstarted by Apple back in the day. And this year, while there wasn't any hardware announcements, it was all about software, one of the coolest things was, well, for people that use sat-navs a lot and do road trips a lot, one of the coolest things, was the integration of third-party navigation apps with Apple CarPlay, which in simple terms means that Waze is now able to appear on the dashboard of your car's sat-nav screen. Now that might not sound like a big deal to some, but for those of you who have been using Waze on your phone only and you have to have a clip to mount it on your dashboard or your windscreen, and then everything runs through your phone, to have it all in one unit, all in one place, on your car, for me at least, is gonna be fantastic. Because in my line of work, I'm always sticking things on the car anyway. I mean, I've got a GoPro mounted there right now. That has a charging cable coming out of it. And then normally I would have my phone clamped on the windscreen as well with the charging cable coming out of it. So it's gonna clean up the driving environment, but also have ways on a much larger screen. Of course, the Gen 2 991 GT3 Porsche has Apple CarPlay in, which means soon when they roll out that software update, I'm gonna be able to have ways on my screen, big clean format. Very excited! <laughs> as an above average day at the beach. I mean, I found myself doing some pretty crazy stuff with cars. If you're wondering where we are, it's an area called Black Rock Sands, which is a beautiful coastal part of Wales. Uh, and you can drive your cars on the beach, evidently, hence us bringing all of these GT3s to GT3 RSs here. Such an abstract scene. Ridiculous. And it actually looks really, really good. Like sometimes I'm not a fan when cars are parked on grass, but something about sand <laughs> seems to work. The beach. We've made it. Final destination of the day. My favorite destination is time to eat. We're at Nor Bar, which is a bar north of Barmouth, as the name might suggest. Awesome lineup of cars outside. Conveniently, one of the drivers is the owner of this fine establishment, which means we're gonna have a prime location out on the decking, out front, overlooking all of this. All right, end of the day. I'm with Mr. Adam Thorby himself, founder of Supercar Driver. Um, I wanted to pick your brains as to where it all started and where it is now. I remember the first time, the very first time that I even heard of you, I'd parked my car at Alton Park yeah. and I came back and there was a little yellow flyer <laughs> underneath yeah, yeah. my yeah, windscreen wiper. Right. That was the first time I found about it and now you're like huge, so well, I don't know about how did it start? It was 2009. Nine, okay, 2009, wow. 2010, yep. and then late 2009 and we started just trying to organise one event. Yeah. So we, we didn't really know a lot of people, but we started to just say drop flyers on the yeah, yeah. Or you meet someone and then they introduce you, but I think it just literally, well, as these things do, it starts from one event mm, yeah. and then builds and builds Easy. and builds, but I think obviously it's just starting from a hobby. Yeah, I think before you guys started, there was never as many excuses to get out these cars. Like, I truly believe that 
as a result of the events that you guys organise, people use their cars so much more. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, they do. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. We, we, I think we calculated last year that we think members did a collective half a million miles or something. Yeah. 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 All the events yeah. and the cars that we do. Yeah. yeah, we do. We do 100 <laughs> events in a year. But yeah, like you say, it did just start from one and then went to another. And, yeah. and to be fair, we caught it at a good time with social media before it started to get huge. Sure. That really helps now get the word out, doesn't it? Oh, sorry. Yeah, that's it. So it went from fairly humble arranging road trips to you partnering with people like the RAF yeah. to go and do and, and you like close down runways yeah, it's my favourite event has to be the <laughs> season opener yeah. I mean that, like this year was ridiculous it's become pretty iconic for just the gathering of cars I mean like I say we, put, we do lots of events and that I launched that event yeah. within 24 hours 350 spaces is gone <laughs> no other event is like that throughout the whole year it's so, special yeah, man. we've created a monster and we're going to keep feeding that now as the years go on we're going to do yeah. something quite big actually in 2020 it's our 10 year anniversary believe it or not so, wow yeah. that's going that's flown by it's mad isn't it it's mad. Yeah. 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 so the event we've been on today has been organised by Adam and his team and this is just a small example of the kinds of things that SCD organise today I didn't really know much about the format and I ended up on the beach with a load of GT3s so you never know what will happen when Adam's around I'll stick a link below go and check out the Side. See what's what? Yeah, awesome. That's Thank the road, dude. Thank you. Thank you. You know, sometimes it's it's actually the moments with cars that kind of don't need any explanation. They don't need too many words when you're on your own in the seat, cruising down the coastline of Great Britain, sun setting over your shoulder, shimmering on the water listening to that flat six rev out to 9,000 RPM. Uh, there's something about being in a car on your own, it's utter solace, you know? It's such freedom. The people that I have met as a result of cars have just been people that have enhanced my life and cars have enhanced my life. And as much as the content today may seem quite simple, just sharing your simple road trip. And yes, we ended up on the beach and that is pretty nuts in a brace of GT3s. It's the camaraderie, the intangible assets that might not necessarily come through on camera that are really special. Moments like this, I feel incredibly lucky. As always guys, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Ciao. Thank you.